Hello boys and girls, Henry from Adventure Air here, and uh, today we're going to be talking about emergency landings and the impossible turn again, turning back to the runway if you had an engine out at the end of the runway. Again, the gyroplanes uh, can easily do the impossible turn. If I'm 150 feet off the deck and at the end of the runway I've lost my engine, I can actually safely do a 180 degree turn, come in and reland on the runway. We were going to show you that in uh, person, but today the winds are pretty high. They are um, gusting to uh, 30, and so we figured, ah, doing a 30 mile an hour downwind landing might not be the <laughs> might not be the best thing. You definitely want to land these gyros into the wind if you can, and uh, so if that happened and say we were higher than 150 feet, um, we would actually try to do a two 180s or a 360. We turn back downwind and then back into the wind to land. Our forward speed is going to be very slow because we have that 30 mile an hour headwind. Once we get down on the runway, we would just kind of flare it back and we would probably just set vertically onto the ground. So we're going to go over to a little practice area and even though the winds are high, we're going to kind of play with it a little bit and uh, see what I can show you. Cool, let's do it. Okay, I also wanted to talk to you guys about if you're landing off field, you're not landing at the airport and you're coming down into a field somewhere and all of a sudden you're going to be landing on a slope, you know, a pretty good slope. It's not flat terrain. The idea in a perfect world is to land on the uphill side, like going uphill, basically. What, what I would do personally is as I came down to the ground, I would carry a little more speed because as you go, go to flare, you're going to flare to land, but you're not going to land flat with your wheels. Say you're going to land at a little bit of an angle. You're going to kind of over flare and match the terrain. And uh, when you set on the ground, you're going to stop very quickly because you're rolling uphill. And then uh, basically you stop quickly, uh, let the nose wheel touch the ground, and then you want to get on the brakes. Because if you don't get on the brakes after that, you're going to start rolling backwards down the hill. So you'll kind of come in with a little extra speed, flare for the hill, we'll try to match your ground terrain, wait till the thing sets down with your nose wheel on the ground, and then hold that brake to keep you from rolling backwards and let the rotor come to a complete stop. That's the way that I would do it anyway. Let's go over here, shall we? All right, guys, we're over here uh, in what, the area that I call the Happy Valley. And uh, so uh, we are going to have a hard deck here uh, on the ground to, uh, to keep from going too close to ground. We don't want to practice these emergency landings right on the deck, especially when we're in a, uh, an area we're not supposed to land anyway. We're out here in the, uh, the Chino Hills. So let's say we've come on and we've taken off and we're, we're climbing out and all of a sudden, uh-oh, we lose that engine. Basically, I'm gonna going to make my turn, left pedal, left stick, we spin around 180, drop the nose to pick our airspeed back up, and we would come in and land. Now, if I needed to, I haven't turned the power on yet. I could spin back around the other direction. Now we're landing back into the wind. Nose down, flare for our landing. Piece of cake! Okay. Yeah, guys, we're down here in the Happy Valley. Uh, we're kind of in... Uh, there's no structures or buildings or houses or anything anywhere close to us, but we do have a nice flat valley down here uh, with a dirt road uh, that if we actually did have to land, that's where we would land. So let's do it again. Oh my gosh, we've taken off. We've lost that engine. Basically, I'm going to do left stick, right left pedal, I'm sorry, spin it around, back down the runway, drop the nose, pick up our airspeed, and then we would land. All right, let's climb up and do it some more. Woo, it's so much fun. <laughs> By the way, on these emergency turns, you're noticing that I'm turning to the left. Um, I do like to turn to the left in an emergency because the rotor system up there is spinning that direction. The machine naturally wants to go left. And so even with, uh, with no power on the engine, it likes a left turn. You kind of have to fight a little bit to turn right. So in an emergency situation, unless there's some good reason not to, I like going to the left because the machine wants to go that way anyway. All right, guys, we are feeling those gusts. It is gusting about 30 out here. Uh, but again, the gyro is not crazy. Unlike a fixed wing airplane, uh, wind hits the wings of an airplane, creates all the turbulence. In a gyro, we're just kind of chopping it up. So uh, uh, we can handle a lot more turbulence than a fixed wing plane. And of course, we can land a lot shorter. So that's why I love these things. See, I can fly hands off in turbulence. Not a big deal. Turbulence? What turbulence? I know, what turbulence? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I mean, it's gusting 30, but we don't even feel it. Yeah. No, I don't feel anything. Yeah, I mean, look, hands off. I'm going to take a nap. There yeah, there we go. See? <laughs> Good times. 
All right, guys, so I've shown you a couple of 180-degree turnbacks to the runway. Again, in a super heavy headwind situation when you're taking off from the runway. Let me climb up just a little bit here, and we'll, we'll do a full 360, which would put us back uh, on the runway. Maybe we could actually come straight down uh, in a little bit of a spiral and come in and land at the spot that we lost our engine. All right, so we're right here. I'm going to know where we're at. We're over this road. Oh, my gosh, we lost the engine. I'm going to do my left turn, left pedal, spin us around. Maybe we fly downwind for a second. Back around again. We're kind of flat turning. There's that road that we were over. Dropping the nose down. Dropping our nose to pick up our airspeed. Bam, there's 60 already we would land. Pretty easy. So we actually did a full 360 degree turn back into the wind of 30, 30 miles an hour and we could land pretty much where we lost our engine uh, without much of a problem. I could have vertically taken it down even a little bit lower, but uh, there was no need to. Uh, so not much of an issue uh, for landing. Uh, if you have a strong headwind on takeoff, you lose your engine, you can do a full 360, you have plenty of time, you know, and uh, just land back into the wind. Landing downwind in the gyro is not a very advised thing to do. The gyro does not like downwind landings. You're being pushed by that rotor and pushed by the, the system. You're going to land super fast if you're landing downwind. And it just has weird aerodynamic things to it that, that we don't care for. So if you at all have the option, try to land into the wind if you can. Another thing that the, uh, the, the the big 180 turn is, you're flying up a box canyon, and all of a sudden you're climbing out, and you're like, oh man, I can't make this box canyon. Then all you would do is you would slow it up a little bit like this, a little left stick, left pedal, spin that baby back around, nose back down, get your airspeed back up, and you can fly out of the canyon, or you can land on that dirt road down there. Woohoo! Try that in a fixed wing, baby. <laughs> I truly believe the gyroplane is one of the safest aircraft out there just because of these uh, short uh, takeoff and landing scenarios and the fact that if you lose your engine, these things cannot stall. You cannot stall these. You'll come straight down as you get close to the ground, drop the nose for a little speed for a flare, and you set it on the ground at zero to five feet. I can land this thing on a tennis court with no engine, uh, whereas in an airplane, of course, you need a little bit of space uh, for a landing. These things don't need a lot of space. Hey guys, by the way, I am going to Oshkosh, the Air Adventure uh, Air Show uh, in Wisconsin, last week of July. Uh, so come on out there and say hi. I will be at the Auto Gyro booth. And um, uh, please come on by and we've got some new crazy gyroplanes to show you. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're actually going to be building a gyroplane as well, an MTO Classic, serial number 2000. We're going to build it there at the booth. We're going to try to get it done in three days. So come help us with the build and come say hi to Henry uh, from Adventure Air. Woo! All right, guys, so we're going to kind of show you this vertical descent to landing kind of deal. Uh, lost our engine on the runway, trying to do a full 360 and land. All right, so all of a sudden we're here. We've lost our engine. Again, we're going to do our left turn. Another spinning turn here. Diamond 881 Whiskey, Chino Tire. Enter left base over the 15 freeway. Back into the wind. Great. Wind 25013, gust 1 needle, terminator 29087. 60 miles an hour. 2987 for the altimeter and left base for 26. And we just wait until the wind takes us and we set it on the ground. 81 Whiskey, left base over the 15 for runway 26 right. Left base over the 15 for 26 right. 81 Whiskey. Taking back off. Got a bit of the left crosswind too. Left crosswind at 30 miles an hour. Nice. Notice how the nose pitches left into the wind as we take off. And tower gyro 8, whiskey x-ray. At the end of the runway, we're going to simulate an engine out, but we will continue on to the pattern, just letting you know. Here, here we should tell you. At the end of the runway here, we're going to simulate an engine out, but we'll just continue on to the pattern, just want to let you know. All right, so into the runway. Lost our engine. Again, left stick to start. 
Left pedal. Turn to say one two Sierra Romeo and Chino Tire. Cross the two six right. Lined up with eight. Me two six left. And we would come in and land. Okay, cross the two six right at Papa. Hold short of two six left at Papa. Turn to one two Sierra Romeo. Left one zero nine one traffic crossing the approach and prior to your arrival. Seven is eight zero nine one. All right, guys. Oh, look at that blade stop. Whoa, we're playing roulette in Vegas, and we won double zero. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And um, please, if you have any other questions, the reason we did this video is because someone asked us about landing on a hill and also the impossible turn back to the runway. That's why I filmed this one. So if you have questions about gyro flying or instruction, uh, please let us know in the comments, and I'll be happy to put together a video just for you explaining whatever it is that you want to know about gyro flying. Until then, hope we see you at Oshkosh, and this is Henry from Adventure Air. We will see ya.